Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting, as you can see, with a new update of Michal Krizio and this is actually from two weeks ago and right now we are one week out of Ampro Cup Spain where Krizio is gonna defend his own title, he won it last year and he plans on winning it again and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia at this show it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tricky this year, it's gonna be very, very competitive, he has William Bonek, Bechrus Tabani, Sas Hirati, probably some other guys who are also very, very good, so it's gonna be very hard, but, but this is what he looked like two weeks ago or three weeks out of a show, and I gotta say, this looks very good, so conditioning is still not there, not quite, because again, three weeks out, he still has to dial in, but for three weeks out, this is great, last year at the Emperor Cup, he was freaking peeled, I remember reviewing this show last year and saying that he is probably a little bit too lean, a little bit too shredded and too hard for this show, he probably could have won it even without being this peeled, I mean, it was a close battle, not really a close battle, but Andrea Presti here on the far right was actually very good, but because of his leg size, he still couldn't win this, and Krizio, he was freaking shredded and rock hard, I believe this was his absolute best ever, you can also see Jose Manuel next to Krizio here, who actually moved to Classic Physique this year and won a Classic uh, Pro show, he's going to the Mr. Olympia in Classic Physique, even though here he actually looked very comparable next to these open mass monsters, but it was mainly from the back, like his back is phenomenal, his lower body from behind as well, other poses he's not really quite there, he could be a great open pro, he maybe will be one day, but that's besides the point, the point here is Krizio, who is most likely gonna win this show again, he's my favorite for sure, and no, it's not only because he's also from Eastern Europe, no, it's because his physique is untouched, it's so clean, you can see that he's not using any sight enhancement oil anywhere, I mean, at least I don't see it, like, if he wanted to, he could put some in some body parts and make them better, make them bigger. Like, I don't know how much sense it would make, but his glutes need to be bigger. I don't even know if that would work. I know wellness girls are doing that, but I don't know how much it would work out for an open bodybuilder because you need to show striations. But I think he would look better if his glutes were simply bigger and less striated. But anyways, look at his back. Look at how detailed it is. Look at the shoulders as well. How much separation is there? the hamstrings as well, the lower back, like, look at the details in the lats, like, he has details, he has fibers, very visible, everywhere, basically, I don't think guys in Europe are doing uh, that stuff as much as the guys in the US, it's not a thing over here, I don't think so, so, you know, usually guys, when they have a weak point, they have more trouble, and it takes them more time to, to fix it, but they always have this clean, this quote-unquote natural look, right? You can see the fibers, you can see the details that you often don't see in some other big-name open bodybuilders. They all just look kind of watery and not super separated. They get lean, they get very lean, but they never get that crazy separation. And it's probably because of the use of insulin, and I'm guessing SEOs maybe, a combination of those two things. I mean, I don't know for a fact, but I think it's a pretty good guess, but it doesn't matter, whatever is the reason, Krizio has that clean, that separated, that untouched look, and that's why I like his physique so much, sure, I would like to see him make more progress, especially in the glutes, and like, uh, in the posing, but I think he improved it a lot from this show, this was one year ago, I think he did a much better job at the Mr. Olympia, and then at the Prague Pro as well, I think this year he's gonna be much better in terms of like uh, presentation and also complete development, I think his glutes are better now, his back is also deeper, I think he's just overall much better, will he be able to bring this kind of conditioning though? I don't know, this was really sick, this was really freaking peeled, this was next level, and also he didn't lose the fullness, for the Mr. Olympia, he did get very very lean, but he lost the size a little bit, he lost that fullness, here he was full, he was hard, he was shredded, this was his best, maybe his posing was not as good, and again, he improved his back and his glutes, I think, for the Mr. Olympia, or at least he changed the posing to make it look better, but as far as like the peak, as far as the conditioning and the fullness and all that, this was his best peak ever, and again, this is a three weeks out, so here he's probably flat, the lighting here is like the worst possible, 
uh, he's not pumped up he's probably this is probably in the morning so like uh, three more weeks of dieting and then you know doing a peak week and putting the tan on and standing under like really good lighting yeah i think he's gonna be somewhere around where he was on that stage and in my opinion that's gonna be enough to win this show we'll see we'll see what william bonnock is gonna look like bekrus tabani sas hirati and the others but right now i do have krizu winning this show what do you guys think all right next up we got samson dauda again yeah i know i already talked about him yesterday but he posted this physique update from the back he's showing us his back progress and when i saw this i was like wow like how much progress is this guy making everywhere especially in his weakest body part his back when i saw this i was like does he really even need to improve this back anymore or is it basically maxed out for his genetics like sure you can see that his lats are a bit higher but he added so much muscle to that back it, it's crazy thick right now it's it's crazy dense he added so much tissue it's insane i don't know if you guys even remember but up until recently his back was a weak point i mean look at his back right now would you say that his back is weak like would you say that Derek Lansford's back is looking any 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 thicker than this back right here I mean, I wouldn't even say it's bigger than this. Yeah, his lats are a bit high inserted, so like in the back double next to Derek Lansford, he won't look as good, but just standing there, just walking around, like, can he really add any more muscle to this back? Just look at it right here when he's standing relaxed. Look at his freaking thickness. I said it yesterday, and I'm gonna say it again. When I see Samson Dauda, I am getting Ronnie Coleman vibes. And yeah, I know Ronnie Coleman is on the next level, sure, but like who else reminds you of Ronnie since Ronnie Coleman more so than Samson Dauda? Who else would you choose? Sean Roden, Phil Heath, Jay Cutler, I mean, Brandon Curry, Heidi Chopin, Derek Clansford? No, none of these guys are looking this monsterish, right? I mean, Samson and, and Ronnie are about the same height. And similar weight, you know, Samson is 330 in the offseason. I'm not sure what is his stage weight, but sometimes, some shows he was around 300 pounds, which was, I believe, even heavier than what Ronnie was bringing to the stage. I think 2003 Ronnie was 290. Yeah, sure, Ronnie was a lot more conditioned, and Ronnie is on a different level. Okay, I agree with that, but still, still, this guy is, you know, the closest thing. I don't know if he will ever reach Ronnie Coleman level or surpass him. I don't know. Maybe he will. Probably won't. There will probably never be another guy as good as Ronnie Coleman. But in my opinion, Samson Daura is the bodybuilder that came the closest to that. And as you can see right here, the bag is kind of reminding us, at least reminding me, of Ronnie Coleman's, right? Now, again, because of the high lats, when he hits the pose, it's not that good, but, you know, relaxed, you know, muscularity-wise, he is almost on that level, he has that much muscle. When he opens up, sure, his lats could be wider, like Derek Lansford, for example, but I think this is good enough. I don't think anybody this year is gonna be beating uh, Samson in terms of uh, back uh, size, right? It all depends on how, how conditioned his glutes are and hamstrings in the back pose and how lean his back itself is. But size-wise, he got to a really high level. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, we also got a physique update from our current 212 Mr. Olympia champion, Keon Pearson. And this is what he looks like right now. And his weight in the offseason is 226, let's say 227. Which, obviously, isn't that far from his weight limit in 212. That's like 14 pounds heavier than his weight limit. Does he look like he has only 14 pounds to lose to get in shape no no he looks like he needs to lose more does he look massive absolutely he does he looks very big very complete very round and i do still think he is most likely going to defend his title i don't see sean clarida beating this guy i mean this guy is just simply much bigger much wider has a lot cleaner and more aesthetic and more classic type of look which is definitely a help and sean clarita had issues with controlling his midsection so keon is definitely the heavy favorite and as far as i know from what i heard from patrick tour 
Kian is not really doing a lot of stuff in the offseason. He's really not taking a lot. So that's why his weight didn't blow up. And once he starts his prep, he's gonna start using more. So once he starts getting ready for the show, once his prep starts and he starts getting leaner, he's also gonna kinda grow into the show, right? Like he's gonna get harder and fuller and leaner at the same time. So... In the end, it's probably gonna be close to his weight limit. I think last year, he still wasn't there. He wasn't 212 pounds. I believe he was like 205, something like that. And I believe he actually made a lot of progress in this offseason. Because he was super devoted the entire year. He knows that that win last year wasn't an easy win. And if he wants to keep his title, he needs to work even harder and not leave the door open for anybody. Including Sean Clarida, mainly. So, he improved, in my opinion. He improved a lot. You're gonna see the final results once he's ready for the stage, once he's shredded, and once the, the gear kicks in completely. But right now, this is looking pretty phenomenal. And it's actually crazy to believe that this is only 220, 26, 27 pounds. Yeah, sure, he's shorter, but still, still, I would expect him to be like at least 240 right here, but no, no, 226 and a half, which is absolutely crazy for this look, for this size, whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this guys, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.